Good day, guys. Welcome back to another episode. Back at down at Dwelling Up near Nanga Mills, trying to target some uh, redfin. They've been a bit, little bit funny lately, but hopefully I can get a few today. This is something what everyone can do. Kids, anything, flick a few, few lures around the river, and you should be able to get some. If not, it's always a great day to be out here. Hope you enjoy. This spot here usually is our favourite spot. Last time I was here with some cloth plastics, I cleaned up. But the water's really, really murky, so you can't really see the bottom. So at the moment I'm using black lures. So apparently black stands out more in dark water, apparently. Don't know exactly how it works, but it works, apparently. All I can say about ready fishing, just constantly cast into those snags. Let the spinner drop to the bottom a little bit and then slowly wind it in so it has a little spin. And hopefully something comes out and nails it. Like I said guys, anyone can do this. Just come down to any fresh water. Make sure you do your research first because some places you're not allowed to fish and make sure you have a fresh water license before you start. And another important thing about redfin, they're pest species, so make sure you don't release them back, even if they're any size. And when they're big, great on the chew. So if you ever want to do it, just come down to dwelling up, have a fish. It's great fun, trust me. Got him. Not the biggest. But it's great when you see him follow your lure and hit it first and then another cast and you get him. Like I say, he ain't the biggest. But yeah, they're great fun. Anyone can target them. Yep, just hooked a good one. It's to peel and drag. It's almost getting in the snow. Oh, he just let go. That was a good ready. Just lost him. Are you kidding me? That was a real good one. I was taking me into the trees. Hope he comes back. Yep, just got a nice ready. Easy in the 30s, I think. This is our average size down here. Not a bad way to start. Nice and fat and healthy. Not a bad ready session already. I'm only about 15 minutes in and I've already got two fish and lost one. Good start. Yep, just hooked another one. Feels all right. Probably another 30. Pulling a little bit of drag. Oh, he's got me in a stick. He's got me in a snag. Oh, he's out. Oh, there's two big ones with him. Oh my God. Oh, he's taking me in the snag. He's taking me in the snag. He just let go. Fuck, oh, they were good ones. It's two. I'll see if I can get him again. <laughs> I just hooked him again. Same fish. Freaking good one. Ain't the biggest from here, but they're still good readies. Don't you love it when you lose your fish and then you get him back? I haven't caught a ready about that big in a long time up down here. Gotta say, not a bad size and there was a couple more of that size too. So I'm gonna go for them. Hopefully I can get a few more like that. And that'll be a good feed. All I know, Riley and Adam will be pretty devo when they watch this footage. Cause they're at work right now. 
and I'm down here enjoying my life fishing while they're working. Sorry boys. Like I say, they've been really, really funny lately. If you know why they've been funny lately, or if you understand Reddy's a bit more than us, please comment at them on two pirates and let us know a bit more info because these are one weird fish to understand. This is one thing you don't need, a big expensive boat or flash gear to do. Just get a couple of cheap spinners from Kmart, that's what we do, $10 for a four pack of Crystal um, Creek spinners, Jarvis walkers. And they do just as well as this, cause that's what I'm using. That's another thing guys. If you're gonna come down here marining, make sure you clean up after yourself. Just found this rope, piece of sock. You know, wildlife can get caught up in this. Still littering. People don't think it is. But, you know, rope and wildlife doesn't go well together. So I'm going to take this and chuck it in the bin. So if you're ever on the waterways and you see rubbish or stuff like this, make sure you pick it up. Because it doesn't belong out here. That would have been left over from marin season. Kind of devo because we always keep finding this stuff. But all good. Let's have the water now. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You know, like and subscribe, share us around. If you anything, any comments you dislike or like, anything else you want to see us do. We got a whole range of things we do. But mainly we do the fresh water, salt water on the boat. Hopefully in the next few nights we get a few good sunset fishing coming up so we can get some snapper bash in, in the shallows and some jewies. But never know. See what happens. See you next time.